What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a highly requested review for you guys. I mean you guys have been really requesting this one since its release and then you guys really started asking about it after I showed you guys how it's made in the latest Behind the Brew video. So today we are going to be diving into all the details good and bad surrounding the water-based goon grease. Alright, so thank you so much for joining me here today for this new video. If you're new or haven't yet done so, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing here to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you consider doing so. It really helps me out, helps the channel grow. So just take a quick second. I'll wait for it. Go ahead, hit the button, and then we'll move on. Good? Everybody good? Thank you so much. So by now, we pretty much know all about the water-based goon. We've talked about it in the Behind the Brew. You guys have probably seen it all over the place. I'm not going to dwell too much on this part of the video. And honestly, I was going to approach this video in more of like a quick review type way. But, you know, then I got into it and started thinking about maybe some people hadn't seen the behind the brew or maybe they hadn't even heard that this was coming or they heard about it a couple years ago and then didn't realize it had been made you know that I, I basically i didn't want to overlook anybody so i am going to go through the specs real quick and then we're going to jump into the actual review for you guys that have heard about it so nobody's going to get left behind in this review and that actually includes some of you that have already reported issues with this product we are going to be going through a big issue that i first heard about on reddit regarding this pomade so you are going to want to stick around till the end of the video for all the details on that first though we do need to talk about some specs and according to the lockharts the new water-based goon grease offers everything we know and love from the original goon grease just in a water-based format. Technically speaking, it is an orthodox water-based pomade or a gel type, and it offers a four out of five hold strength, 3.5 out of five for volume, two out of five for texture, and four out of five for shine. It also comes in that sweet original Goongri scent and sells for 1650 US for four ounces. Looking inside the jar here on this one, I do think that we have somewhat what you're probably expecting with it being a gel type, but this one to me is identifiably different being as it looks slicker than other pomades we've seen and you can see it just by looking at it it looks almost wet in the jar and when it comes out and goes into the hand you really have that same effect it's more wet and slick than it is sticky or even dry like we've seen with some other gel types it's got that almost slimy feel to it like we see in some oil-based pomades in fact now being as it is technically classified as a gel type or orthodox water-based pomade damp hair is the go-to as far as styling method methods go usually this one is a bit different though if you do recall we've seen gel types like this before in fact i just reviewed one the blessed hands pomade that's a you know a couple of videos back that one was a bit different as it was a more versatile pomade it's a more versatile styler and i do think we have that same thing or at least a similar thing going on here with this pomade and, and i do think that we have pretty much a, a similar thing going on here with the water-based goon it's not quite like what we have seen in the past with other gel types however i think with this one it's not quite as simple as just saying it's versatile or that it's different than other gel types originally the lockhart said this one can be used in both damp or dry hair however due to a very particular issue which we will discuss at the end i promise the instructions have been updated and as you can see on their site here the specific instructions are ever so slightly damp hair it can't be too wet and it can't be too dry and here for today's demo is my best attempt at following these instructions my hair's not too wet it's not too dry it's towel dried but it's i guess towel dried a little bit more than usual not completely dry obviously because that's not following the instructions and as I add in product here, take note at how different the result is right away. Other pomades would have completely taken over my hair and created that usual slick or wet type look in my hair. And this one here is much more lightweight, almost texturous even. The fact that it's so lightweight and natural, but still holding should really tell you that this pomade does in fact offer different attributes than just a standard gel type. As usual too, here's that same style four hours later. We can see that this is not at all what we usually see 
see with orthodox pomades look how natural and lightweight it is in there especially in the front it moves around with ease it's like hardly anything is even there in fact there is a little bit of hardening in some areas but really it's nowhere near the level that we usually see here which is pretty crazy to me at eight hours in now we can see it pretty much looks the same there there's a little bit of movement on the sides of this high part but it's not deflating or falling out it's still pretty locked in and to me that's really crazy considering one the product type and two how lightweight this really feels in my hair okay so what is this issue that I mentioned earlier in the video well soon after the release I noticed on the pomade subreddit that one post discussed flaking going on with the pomade and dry hair now when I first saw this I noted it down just made a little mental note to look at it for my review because you know that's what I do I get accused all the time of being a, a hype reviewer or a dishonest reviewer but no I'm as honest as possible and I do in fact look into things when I see it. I test everything out as thoroughly as possible and I have seen people complain about stuff like this where it ended up being like a batch issue or it was that jar or you know maybe it didn't even happen. I don't know. I've I've seen stuff, tested it and not been able to replicate issues and sometimes like in this case I have been able to replicate issues. The fact is though you just got to test everything out. You have to test it out. That's what you do to remain honest and that's what I did here and I was able to see the issue I did get some flaking here see for yourself when applying to fully dried hair which is now not the official instructions by the way I saw this flaking effect all through my hair and my comb and boy was it everywhere I can't for sure say exactly what causes this I mean it really could be a few different things but applying some water does help get rid of it once it ha has already happened and yes it is kind of a pain to actually get out of your hair once it's already happening but as we saw in the first demo using the recommended instructions also gets rid of this and doesn't cause it to happen but again it's important to showcase stuff like this, this is all stuff that's a part of honest reviewing and so yes this is a known issue with this product I think Steve heard about it first on the reddit or somebody may have written into him about it I don't know but I did myself talk to him about it of course you know after I tested it out I just talked to him about it and he said he was actually going to make adjustments or he tried to make some adjustments to fix it and so that is the latest on that that's the latest info that I have in the meantime I am going off of the recommended instructions because it works and I want to make sure I showcase that because that's on the other side that also is honest it works and the flaking does not happen when you use the recommended instructions but of course the fact that this does have this issue goes a little bit into my judgment of the product we can't just ignore it we can't we can't just say you know because it happens this way and not this way that it you know somehow cancels it out it's still there so it does you know come into my opinion a little bit I do think that they have something pretty versatile here though when used in the the, the way that they're recommending it now the correct way if you will I, I think it's something quite different I mean really it styles almost like a, a wax pomade and how with how light it is in the hair while still offering that great hold I mean it definitely does not feel like a gel type to me it acts completely natural it's just crazy to me how different this feels compared to other gel types that I've tried. We do though have to obviously address the goon in the room and that's the flaking and then I'm gonna throw another piece of criticism in there and that's the specific styling method. And yes, I'm perfectly comfortable addressing both because Steve and Nicole and the Lockhart's team, they always know that I am 100% honest for one, and they would never ask me to break that, by the way. That's just the relationship that we have. And two, Steve also acknowledged the issue and said he was going to fix it. So first off, I think this one has a, a fine line. Like, you have to use it exactly how it's recommended or the flaking happens or you get poor performance like they said you lose some hold if your hair is too wet that line to me just seems really thin like you're constantly on the edge of not getting a good result with it unless you use it exactly perfect you know that that to me just isn't quite super user friendly the flaking itself no matter which way you look at it it's problematic I mean that's that's just the truth of it it's problematic and I really hope that it gets fixed soon and I do think it is going to get fixed Steve's a, a fantastic formulator and a fantastic brewer so I am going to update you guys when I get word from him that it's been fixed I'll test it out and I'll give you guys kind of like an updated review on that but I don't really want to fully discount this product either you know because again what I saw in, in the results 
result of the demo is just so different than any other gel type that I've seen here. Even the, the one that we just reviewed with Blessed Hands, this one here is even more versatile. It's got almost like a texturous feel and it's so lightweight, yet it still has that strength and I thought that that was just really well done. The rinse out, the wash out, it's rinse out by the way, it's just water rinse. It just comes right out of your hair. The scent, I love that Goon Grease scent. I mean, I know you guys do too. We got, we got Everyone's always talking about how great that scent is. It's the same exact scent as the oil-based goon grease. It's classic. It's fantastic. There's really not much else to say about that. So in the end here, it will be up, for, up to you guys to decide whether this is for you or not, or whether you think this is going to work for you or not. I think that's really all that we can do. I mean, you look at it, I present to you the facts. You guys then have to take those facts and decide whether this is good for you or not, or whether you think it's going to work for you or not. That's pretty much it though for this review. Again, I will be doing an update once I receive word of any formula changes or anything like that. I will be happy to update everyone here. If you would be so kind as to subscribe to the channel, once again, if you have not already subscribed, that's a big deal to me and speaking of updates to the review if you guys have that bell icon tabbed you will get notified of new content I have new content coming out every week so have that turned on you won't miss any new videos thank you once again for stopping by the channel today make sure you drop me a like and a comment down below I will be back with you guys again very soon with an all-new video take it easy I'll see you next time